there! Welcome to Sassy Zen Girl and another episode in Digital Nomad Lifestyle. Today we're going to talk about the 10 important factors to find the best web hosting for your website or blog. This is a very important topic and can cause great aggravation if you pick the wrong one, so let's go right into it. First of all, what is web hosting? Uh, it refers to the place where all your website files are stored, your photos, your videos, your blog posts, your whatever else you have on there is, po is stored on a server. Um, and that's basically from where everything is beamed into cyberspace, for lack of a better term. Top 10 factors, well, let's dive right in. Number one, good uptime and reliable service. This refers to your website actually being up and running. You probably have seen this in the past where you go to a website and there's nothing there. That means either the website is no longer up and running or the server where this website was hosted is down. And that's what this is referring to. The cheaper companies oftentimes or the free companies are down and that's really frustrating especially if you're spending a lot of money or effort to drive visitors to your site and then it's down so it can cost you a lot of money and it's just really frustrating the minimum you should accept is 99 percent no one is ever 100 percent but 99 percent absolutely minimum uptime is what the most important factor in good web hosting number two you need a cpanel backend cpanel refers to control panel and i'll show you what that looks like so here you can see account management, support, video tutorials. Below you see uh, email accounts and what all the things you can do there. Here you can manage your domains, your databases, softwares. Uh, you see the arrow pointing to self Oculus that for instance helps to install WordPress, Joomla and all those. So that is very important to have and makes your life a lot easier in managing your website. Number three. A free software auto installer for WordPress, Joomla and all the others. Um, most good web hosting companies these days have that as a one click. You can either just click it and check it as it is here when you sign up for hosting or you can also do it later but it is a super simple thing to do and it should be part of any good web hosting service. Next, unlimited disk space and bandwidth. Now, let me dispel a myth here. There is no such thing, but this refers to, and we're talking about shared web hosting, meaning you're sharing disk space with a lot of other websites and blog posts. It's not dedicated, which would be the other term. And it's for most websites and bloggers, that's perfectly sufficient. We don't have that many, that much space or that much traffic. Um, and it basically works like an all-you-can-eat buffet. It is all-you-can-eat until there's nothing left. So if one person goes there and takes six big portions, that is not the normal usage and that person shouldn't have access to that buffet. Same here, if you have huge, huge amounts of pictures or video or anything else that takes up a lot of space, you really shouldn't be on shared hosting. Same if you have 100,000 visitors per day, that too is overloading a shared hosting plan. You really need your own dedicated hosting. However, if you're watching this video, you probably don't have those yet. I'm just saying it to, so you understand what the word unlimited this space and bandwidth means within reason basically is what this means. You also shouldn't store all your photos or videos um, there. They're really only meant for those that you're actually using on your website. And if you do that and stay within those boundaries or limits, you will, in most cases, be absolutely fine unless your visitor count suddenly dramatically increases. And once again, then you probably should switch to dedicated server. But once again, if you're watching this video, that probably doesn't apply to you. I just wanted to be very clear what this really means. Free backups, I think, is self-explanatory. You still should always back up your site yourself, but uh, having a hosting company that automatically and regularly updates the site is very, very important. Next is free site transfers. If your website is already hosted with another provider, you want uh, free website transfers and ideally a team who does it for you if this is difficult for you. It's a little more complex, but most good providers do this for free. This is a really important one, especially if you're relatively new. And unfortunately, a lot of even the big name companies are terrible at this. 
uh, especially the huge wait times that you have to endure. I, I know I won't mention names here, but some of the really famous ones uh, had to wait 20, 30 minutes and then they gave me bad answers or they chatted with four people at the same time. And it was just a disaster. I finally found one that worked for me and I'm gonna mention it in the, in the end, but that's just my personal experience. Uh, you want tech support that first of all is really on the money that knows what they're doing and secondly is fast. You want uh, to talk to someone within ideally right away or within a few minutes. It should not take more than that unless there's peak hours or rare exception. So this is a very, very important one and check reviews to make sure um, this is included. The review sites will usually give you a pretty good feel of who is particularly good in tech support. Finally, you want a lengthy money back guarantee of a minimum of 30 days. No hassle, zero hassle, money back, 100% money back guarantee. If you don't like the service, you get your money back and that's all there is to it. Every good service provides that. Some even provide 90 days, but even 30 days is very good. Low price while providing quality service. I would say five bucks a month is pretty reasonable, sometimes $5.99. Don't go too cheap. There are some that are just one or two bucks, but uh, you're taking the risk of a lot of downtime, bad tech support, customer service. So don't go too cheap, but it is definitely possible to get it within the range of $5 per month, good quality uh, service. And finally, uh, it should be top rated on reputable review sites. When I say reputable and not sponsored, please understand that a lot of sites that come up when you put in web hosting review are sponsored sites, meaning affiliate sites where people uh, get a commission when they recommend a product. That's no, There's nothing wrong with that. It's a normal thing, but just be aware that of course they're biased. I would go with more reputable sites, reviews.com, PC, Mac, hosting advice, and so forth. Uh, to get an overview and if you see a company pop up again and again within the top three you can be pretty sure that this is a good company and once again you can test them out for 30 days or sometimes 90 days and if you don't like it you just move to someone else it's not a problem it's not difficult to switch if you want my tip the company that I'm using is emotion hosting you don't have to use that there's others like Bluehost or Hostgator, Dreamhost and many many others uh, I tried some of them did have problems with them on some level or other. Me personally, I use Emotion Hosting for all my sites. They actually have been rated number one overall for WordPress and small business in 2015 and 16. And they have fantastic tech support, super fast, 90 day money back guarantee and all the other 10 factors that are included above. Personally, after many bad other experience, I would never go back to any other site. I use Emotion for everything, but be free to do your own research now that you know what is important and find whatever works for you. These are just some of the review sites here. That was PC Mac. This is reviews.com, hosting advice. They're all talking about emotion hosting, obviously. We're posting geeks and we're posting reviews. Um, but once again, this is not the only one. This is just the one I have found best for me personally. And that's sometimes uh, a personal thing. Um, if you want a special discount, and get it much cheaper for I think it starts at 349 you can click the link below in the description and that will give you a super deal um, but it's not the only choice like I said finally if you would like step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up web hosting it's not very complicated or help in starting a blog or website quickly and efficiently this little book can do it it's a Kindle book but also has a hardcover version it was the number one Amazon bestseller and it's really for total beginners. If this is all French to you, this is the book for you. It goes into super detail. It makes it super, super easy to understand every little thing um, and has helped many people get started. The reviews speak for themselves if you wanna check it out. There's also a link in the description, but you can also just go to Amazon directly. I thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.